is Wednesday, February 14th, uh, almost 5 o'clock. I have done a couple of streams here of how to uh, set up your X-Plane to work with X-Pilot and things like that, and I wanted to run through another one, uh, testing some streaming here, and uh, just trying to see how you can get ForeFlight and everything connected. So I'm going to go ahead and launch my X-Plane here, and... Um, so I have my X-Plane launched. I am going to uh, go ahead and start a new flight really quickly. My trusty Vision Jet. I'm going to pop into Apopka. And let's go ahead and just start on the runway and uh, start a flight here. So I'm going to uh, get X-Plane started up. Um, then I'm going to connect to X-Pilot and just kind of run through a couple things that that does. And finally, uh, kind of show how your uh, ForeFlight can connect into X-Plane. Um, one of the great things about using ForeFlight and X-Plane is you get a realistic um, realistic sim and you can kind of see how to use your ForeFlight while you're flying and what, what that feels like to go and change an airport or change an approach or look for traffic, things like that as you're actually flying your airplane. Um, so here I am in, in uh, X-Plane really quickly. Uh, I'm going to close this out here. And I'm going to pause this and let's start with uh, our X-Pilot. So let me bring that up really quickly. Um, so we have our X-Pilot here and uh, four flight and everything here all at the same time. So I'm going to jump into X-Pilot and kind of show you what that is. So with X-Pilot I can uh, actually connect to the VATSIM network, which is a network of people that work as air traffic controllers um, that make this whole experience a lot more realistic. So uh, I'm going to actually get in the air first before I connect. Um, you never want to spawn. This is sort of a game. You don't want to spawn in on a runway in case somebody is landing or something like that. So I'm going to go ahead and take off here before I spawn into the VATSIM network um, because I don't want uh, I don't want the you know the, the chance that somebody's coming in for a landing here at Apopka while I spawn right on the runway so I'm just gonna get in the air start heading out to the west here and uh, then we'll go ahead and connect so I'm gonna go ahead and take off here I've got a positive rate here is coming up and let me just get a few hundred feet in the air, just like I would in a Popka, and I'll take this right turn. Since I'm taking off of one five, it's a right pattern. So I'll take my right turn here, and I'll just start heading out this way. So I'm immediately going to just turn on the autopilot. Um, makes it a lot easier as I'm doing the stream here. So I'll turn on my autopilot. I'm going to turn it on heading mode, and let's make the heading west. Uh, I want to turn my altitude to about 3,000 feet. Uh, I want to stay underneath the class Bravo here so that I don't violate airspace. All right, so now I'm going to jump into my uh, X-Pilot really quickly, and I'll go ahead and connect to this VATSIM network. And what we'll see is, uh, hopefully, we'll see some uh, different controllers here. We'll see if anybody's actually working this area. Um, and looks like not a lot going on in the Orlando area right now. But what I can do in here in this X-Pilot is just kind of right click here and tune my radio. Uh, what that will do here is take this radio that I'm looking at and it will actually uh, tune right here, 121.9. So if I switch this back and forth and then jump back into X-Pilot, I can tune my radio back directly to where I want it. So that's really cool, easy way to do that. Let me take some of this off. Uh, another way to do it with an X-Plane is through the plugins window. You can hit X-Pilot nearby ATC and it will show you the same kind of thing. And so now I can click TuneCom1, TuneCom2. Oh, we got some ATIS information here. So I'm going to tune that to COM2 and what I should see is my COM2 radio is now tuned. And if I look down here and toggle on COM2. Clear 
out at 20,000. Temperature 18. 2.8. So I can get my uh, my ATIS information there. So pretty cool. Um, all right, so what I want to do now is take a quick look at uh, some of the settings here in X-Plane. And what I'll do is jump into the settings. This is going to pause me from X-Plane. And what you want to do if you pause yourself or you're going to disconnect is you want to you know, disconnect from the, the VATSIM network while you do this stuff so you're not just some frozen plane. Um, so one of the neat things within X-Plane is connecting your ForeFlight to it. So I'm going to jump into network here. I'm going to go into the iPhone, iPad area. And what you can do is broadcast to all mapping apps on the network or transmit to a single app. You know, if you know the IP of your iPad or something, you can do that or I can do a broadcast. So I'm just going to leave this broadcast on. And what you'll see here is that if I now, you know, pull up my um, ForeFlight, what I can do is just kind of hit the the button to center myself and now I can see that my plane is actually showing up in ForeFlight as I fly here. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, throw on, let's throw this on there and we're going to, so I'm back here in the airplane but my ForeFlight is showing, um, showing everything. It's pretty cool, so I'm going to throw this back in here. So now, looking at all three of these together for a second. So here I am flying in four foot, or an X-plane. I have my ForeFlight app up, and it's showing me exactly where I am. So if I make a change in X-plane here now, let's say I'm going to change the heading and go north. What I'll see here within my ForeFlight app is my plane is actually making this turn here. So slow turn up to the north and you can see the, the trajectory on ForeFlight is changing. One of the cool things on ForeFlight too is this synthetic vision. If you click this little button up at the top it'll show you. Um, in Florida not as useful as other places. Pretty flat down here but it shows you different airports around. It'll show you if there's mountains or towers or buildings or whatever coming up in the way. But uh, for this demo, pretty simple. So here I am making a turn up to the north. So I can now, you know, kind of follow everything in four flight. So what I want to do here is uh, really quickly, I'm going to jump into my four flight flight plan. And I'm going to... Uh, say I went from X-ray 04 and I'm going to go to KOCF and what I'll see here is my nice little track here there's my flight plan for KOCF I'm going to pop the same thing in to X-plane I'm going to go to K KOCF enter enter now I've got my flight plan there. I'm going to turn on my navigation so that I start following the GPS. So now what? Well, look at KOCF and I want to figure out what runway I want to use. So again, I'll jump into flight plan. I'll hit procedure here. I'm going to say pick an approach. Runway 8. Looks like it has the, uh, the best wind right now. There's no ILS on that. Um, so I'm going to actually pick up ILS for 3.6. I'll use vectors and add that to the route. This shows me a little information. I'll pull up my plate here now. Pretty cool. So I'll go ahead and put that same procedure in here, the approach. ILS for 3.6. Enter, enter. And I'm going to activate that. So now what it's telling me is the uh, track I need to be in is a little bit to the left here. So... I'll go ahead and throw my heading out to the west and turn it into uh, I'm turn it into heading mode for a minute so that we get a little closer to the actual track. And what we'll see here is on four flight, you can see that, again, my plane is tracking over here. 
So now what I'm going to do is jump back into XPilot. And I'm going to take XPilot over here and connect again. Connect to the VATSIM network. And let's see what happens. So let's see if there are any, any traffic showing up here. So in my uh, four flight, I'm going to turn on traffic. And let's see. Oh, yep, look at that. I got traffic off to my right already. All right. So we got some traffic on four flight. I am heading over here trying to pick up the ILS. So pretty neat. Um, oh, I'm hearing a static still, so I'll just uh, tell you where to go. Uh, taxi to parking via Echo 2. I'm going to go ahead and turn that off. There's somebody trying to taxi. All right. So heading over here to uh, KOCF, I've got four flight active, I'm tracking my airplane, I see other traffic off here to the right, and they should be somewhere up here in the sky, they're, they're up at, looks like, yeah, 7,000 feet, so quite a bit higher than I am, um, but that's pretty much it. That's how you hook up your X-Plane to X-Pilot, talk to Live ATC, connect it to your ForeFlight app so that as you're flying you can kind of pull this stuff up and uh, really practice your your approaches and your briefings. So here what I'm going to start looking at is this approach plate really quickly. So it looks like need to be no lower than 17 by Fibus. So I'm 22 miles away from Fibus, so I need to be at 1,700 feet, no lower than 1,700 feet by the time I get to to Fibus here. So um, that's it. Again, quick video. Hope you all enjoy this kind of stuff. I'll, I'll keep it coming if you do. Like and subscribe, and, and I'll keep making videos. Thanks for watching.